Hello guys and welcome back to the Babylonians channel. Today we're going to talk about Dopex new Atlantic options which is called straddles. So you can see over here that they allow you to write a long straddles. As a writer, you can earn up to 496% annualized premium plus this funding 36%, which is very, very attractive in uh, DeFi. And each epoch actually lasts for around three days. So today we're going to talk about what are Atlantic options, what is this straddle all about, and how you can actually take advantage of uh, all these strategies. So to give a little bit of context for those who are not familiar with uh, what a straddle option is, this is uh, the payoff chart for long straddle. So basically to get this kind of payoff, you long uh, one at the money call and one at the money puts. So you get this kind of uh, inverted triangle payoff where you are actually betting on the volatility. So what this means is that you don't care whether price goes up or down, but you think that price will move significantly. So this is very suitable for high catalyst events like the Fed speech or the merge events where you don't know what will happen, but you know when something happens, price will definitely move significantly uh, to either direction. So you're just betting on volatility. And if price doesn't move, doesn't react to anything, then you actually lose money and your maximum loss is just the premium you pay for going uh, long calls and puts. So Dopex has written a couple of uh, Atlantic options uh, straddle and how it works and all this so I would highly recommend to check this out before uh, watching this video. So you can see over here that writers first deposit USD and then buyers will purchase these straddles by paying a premium to them. And the magic part about these uh, Atlantic options here is they will borrow this 50% of the USD collateral from the writer and then they will go uh, long if. So here is an uh, example of it. Uh, you buy one at the money if puts with a strike price of 1005 then you borrow 50% and you use the money to go uh, long spot if. And by doing this, you actually get uh, this kind of uh, payoff which is similar as a if long straddle. And also they have a community spreadsheet where you can uh, plug in the numbers and see uh, how it plays out. But I think it's a little bit uh, confusing but it, but it gives a good understanding of uh, how the mechanics and how everything piece together. But personally, I have done uh, another version which I think is more easier to understand. So this is a visual overview of how it works. So the option writer deposit USDC into the contract and they will sell put to the buyer. So the buyer uh, pay a premium for it. So, so far so good, this is how a uh, normal uh, options work. And then the special thing about Atlantic Options is they will borrow 50% of the collateral to go uh, one long e spot and they will pay funding fee to the option writer. So by doing this, the payoff for the buyer will be the same as a straddle which is going long at the money cost and long at the money puts. So the position for the option writer would be one short Atlantic puts and then they will receive the premium plus funding. The position for the buyer will be one long Atlantic put uh, with this 50% uh, spot if and then each epoch lasts for 3 days. So that is basically a simple overview of how the Atlantic option straddle work. So if we look at the payoff chart over here, you can see that the option writer is just basically a short put. So the max gain that they are earning is just the premium and the funding from the buyer, but their risk to the downside is actually uh, exposed. So it means that if let's say if price goes to zero, they can actually lose a huge amount of their uh, collateral over here. And over here, this is the payoff for the option buyer. So over here, they go long uh, one Atlantic put. So the payoff chart is like this. So the max loss is the premium. But if the price goes down, they actually uh, their profit and loss actually goes up. And then they borrow 50% to go one long 50% uh, spot if. So if you draw the chart against uh, their previous uh, Atlantic put payoff, it will probably look something like this. And that's why you create uh, this uh, straddle payoff uh, strategy. So buyers win on high volatility regardless of uh, direction and the max loss is actually the premium and funding they pay if the price does not uh, move above the break even price. So it's quite risky for the option writer if you do not hedge against your downside because again if, if price goes to zero the maximum loss you can lose is almost your whole collateral. And so there's a few couple ways to hedge against it. So one is you long out of the money puts and the other one is you just go uh, short spot if. So let's explore this uh, long out of the money puts and see how it works. So first you have this uh, short puts uh, payoff chart over here. It's the same as here. But by going long out of the money puts, basically you are saying that if if price goes down, I will make money from my long puts. So you can see over here, this shaded area part is where you hatch your downside. And another way is just uh, to go uh, short spot if and then you just put a stop loss uh, wherever you want. So again, you can see over here, 
uh, you can hedge against uh, the downside if the price goes down. But before that, it's worth noting that this Atlantic Straddles is actually a very, very new product just launched only in uh, August of this year. And so far, they have done about three or four uh, epoch and it has been very, very popular all of the time. It is 100% sold out and uh, it is sold out. It's gone in 7 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And there's clearly a high demand uh, for it as shown from the percentage growth over here. And why is it very, very popular? Because as the writer, you actually earn a very uh, high uh, premium and funding for doing this and as a buyer it is also very uh, attractive because uh, you are able to now bet on volatility which is very very useful especially in crypto where price reacts very sensitive to all the macro news or like big catalyst events like the upcoming merge and Dopex has actually made the UI very simple where you just uh, click one two buttons and you can automatically get, get this kind of uh, long straddle payoff exposure. So this is the calculator that I have made, which is based on this uh, community spreadsheet over here. So to start off, this is the option price. This is the yellow highlighter is where you can uh, input your variables. And the green is the PNL. And this calculator will show you uh, the PNL for the writer as well as the buyer. And also what happens if you uh, hatch. Uh, based on going out the money puts or like just going a uh, short if. So I'll share this link uh, over here on my Notion page. So once you come here, uh, you just go to file, make a copy and you can uh, play around with it. So how do you play around with this calculator? So first come over to this uh, bottom part here and uh, put in the stock price and the strike price to calculate what is the option premium to pay. So we are selling at the money puts for this uh, straddle strategy so the stock price and the strike price should be the same so let's say uh, if price now is about 1006 1006 the option premium will be around uh, 58 dollars so the flow of this will be like this so writers deposit usd then the buyer purchase straddles by paying premium and you can see over here uh, writer deposit collateral 1006 and then they will sell this uh, Atlantic puts to the buyer. So buyer pay $57. So seller immediately uh, earn revenue over here plus this uh, funding fee. So on the buyer side, uh, this is uh, the strike price at 1006 And this is what you predict the if price will be at, at expiry. So let's say if this is $2,000 then you will actually make a profit of $140. And how this $140 is calculated is based on how much they make uh, over here for their puts and also how much they make over here uh, for their 50% uh, long spot, which you can see uh, over here in this uh, blue line. So let's say if if goes to $2,000, then you are actually uh, losing money for your puts, right? Because puts, you are betting that uh, the price will go down, you make money. So if the price goes up, then you make nothing. But because you borrow 50% of the collateral from the seller and you go 50% uh, long uh, e spot, now your profits become $200 uh, over here. And your net settlement will be the funding rate that you pay uh, to the writer. And this is your net settlement. So you take your profit from going 50% long if minus uh, the losses from your puts, you are still in a profit. And your break-even price as a buyer is about two times the straddle price, which is this uh, option premium, plus 2x the funding that you pay to the seller. So if you look at the break-even price over here, this is just uh, two times the premium over here, plus two times the funding fee that you pay. So it's about $120 or about 7.5%. So this means that during these three days, if must move more than 7.5%, for you to make a profit. And so because you can see over here, the strike price is 1006 and price at expiry is 2000. So if moves 25% in three days and 25% is more than 7.5% and that's how you're in profit. But if let's say if actually uh, ranges sideways, let's say it moves to 1650, you only move 3%, but the break even price is 7.5% and that's why you are in a loss. And that's why as a buyer, you are buying that there will be big volatility that will be coming in like the next three days. But as a seller, you want price to move sideways or up, but you don't want price to go down. So for example, price is 1650, you will be definitely in a profit because price is not below the strike price. But if price moves below 3.76%, uh, that is your maximum drawdown and that is when your loss will start uh, accumulating. So let's say if this is like uh, $500, let's say like a big crash come, then you lose huge over here. This is $1,000 loss in just three days 
from your 1006 uh, collateral. So that's why it's quite risky for the seller if you uh, do not hedge your downside. And this max profit drawdown is just the premium plus the funding fee. So you can see over here, if price moves below $60, then you will be in a loss. But if price moves exactly at 60, so this will be uh, 1540, then you will be almost at the break even price. And let's say this goes uh, slightly below, then you will start uh, losing money already. So as a writer, you are just hoping that price does not move below 3.76% in the next three days. So this is uh, hedging for writer. So you purchase one uh, out of the money puts to hedge against your downside. So for this, you have to also calculate uh, what is the out of the money puts. So for example, over here, uh, the st stock price is 1006, I will put one strike price at 1005. So what this means is that if price goes below 1005, I will start making money. And this will actually hedge off the losses from my short puts uh, in this red line over here. So let's say you buy one out of the money uh, options, the premium is $20, so you pay $20 to hedge uh, against your downside. So you can see if this goes to let's say $600, if you do not hedge, your losses will be $940. But if you hedge, your maximum loss will be $60. And even if I change this to $100, your maximum loss is still only $60. So that's how you protect yourself uh, for the downside. And this $60 is just the losses from your short puts plus the profits from your long puts. But let's say if price goes up, let's say it goes to uh, $1,900, then you can see that if they don't hedge, the maximum gain will be just be the $60. But if you hedge, then your profits will just be this minus the premium that you pay, which is $20. So this is your maximum gain if price moves sideways or up. And another way to hedge is to just go uh, short perps. So let's say uh, if strike price is 1006 but you're worried uh, price goes below uh, 1540 because that is the point where you start uh, making losses. So you start shorting at 1500 and let's say if price goes to uh, $500 because you short at 1005 you are actually uh, earning money over here and this is how you cover up your losses uh, from your short puts. But it is also very important uh, if you go short perps to put a stop loss to hedge against upside movements because if you have no stop loss and you go uh, short if at 1005 and if if goes to like $3,000 and if you have no stop loss, you will get wrecked over here. Let's say if you don't put a stop loss, this is how much losses uh, you will make which is very very dangerous also. So the thing about shorting is that this percent price difference for the stop loss should be less than the max drawdown price for it to be profitable on the upside. And what does this mean? So if you can see over here as a writer, your max drawdown price is 3.76%. And your max drawdown is also your max profits. So this means that if if goes sideways or up, your maximum gain is this 3.76%. Uh, so if you put a stop loss that is above 3.76%, this means that even if price goes up, you will still be uh, in a loss. So you can see uh, one example over here. Let's say uh, my stop loss is 1,600, okay? And 1,600 is about 6.67% uh, away from 1,500. So if if goes to $3,000, I will be stopped out over here and I will lose $100. And this is my gain over here, $60. So $60 minus $100, you will still be in a net loss. So your margin must be very, very thin because it's just 3.76%. And that's why I don't really think uh, this uh, strategy will work uh, properly because let's say uh, for a margin of 3.76%, essentially you are putting a very, very tight margin. So let's say uh, 1525, this is 1.67%, uh, is less than 3.76%, right? So if price goes up, uh, let's say 2,500, you will still be in a, a net profit, but your stop loss is so thin. It is very high chance that over the next three days, uh, this will be stopped out. So either you have to uh, do again or adjust your position. And that's why uh, hedging uh, using a short perps is uh, more of an active strategy. And here you can see this is the writer's analyzed premium. And this is calculated by taking their total profit and loss uh, analyzed based on the funding term uh, over here. So we just take this divide by uh, this 0.0082 which is just uh, 3 days divided by 365 days. So this is assuming that as a writer you always win. That means every time when you put money, uh, price always wins in your favor and the, and the option always expires worthless. But this is definitely not the case, right? Because there are times where let's say our uh, price goes down uh, to $800, then you will still be in a loss, right? 
So you can come in, make a copy and uh, play around with uh, all these numbers and see uh, whether this makes sense for you. Whether as a buyer uh, who want to bet on volatility or whether as a seller who just want to earn uh, this uh, attractive uh, analyzed premium and this funding. And also, by the way, I have uh, tested this uh, just for fun. Uh, I think last week I put around $100 and this was before uh, the Fed speech at the Jackson Hole. And you can see that I think if price dropped from 1700 to about 1400 But because this is not hedged, so my payoff chart looks something like this and if price actually moves a lot and that's why I lose like 10% uh, of my money. So take note of this uh, analyzed premium. It's not all uh, rosy and uh, happy uh, take free money over here. You will lose money as a writer if price goes down a lot. So you need to find ways to hedge uh, by either by going to uh, Dopex, uh, SSOV or like going to uh, other options platform uh, that you are familiar with. So I hope this gives you a better idea of how this uh, whole Dopex uh, Atlantic Options uh, straddle works. And if you want access to this uh, spreadsheet and also to this uh, payoff chart and this diagram over here, uh, you can easily find them uh, on my Notion page uh, over this uh, personal Excel analysis and personal sketches. And that's it. Thanks for watching. And if you find this uh, video helpful, I would appreciate if you can like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.